What's up guys, Brian here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about post-production workflow and I'm going to tell you guys why it's important to have a defined but flexible workflow and I'll also share with you guys how to come up with one. So let's get started. Okay, personally, I define workflow as the processes that you go through to take your pictures from the raw file to the finished product, that is the frequency separation, the dodge and burn and all that. I'm going to share with you guys my workflow first of all so that I get a vivid idea of what I'm talking about. After a photo shoot, the first thing I do after copying the pictures to my computer is to open up all the files. I normally use either Adobe Photoshop or Capture One but I use mostly Adobe Photoshop, the camera raw plugin because I've used it for years and I'm used to it. Capture One, I only use it if I'm, I want to use the skin tone matching feature in it. So I'll open all the pictures in, in my camera raw plugin. I'll now go through all the pictures and rate the ones that I like, the ones that I want to edit. After rating them, I will pick one of the rated ones, make some adjustment on it, and when I'm done with making the adjustment, I will um, select all the rated ones and apply the adjustment. If they were from the same set of shoes, then they will have similar lighting and all that. So I'll just apply all the effects, all the tweaking that I made on the image toward the other image. And after I'm done with tweaking the rated image, I'll now open them in Photoshop. So when I open it up like this, the next thing I do is to duplicate the background layer, as you can see here. And when I duplicate the background layer, because I don't like working on the original background in case I make a mistake and I can always have something to go back to. So in this image, I wanted to create this floating effect in the mirror. So I had to take two shots that were similar, one with the person holding the mirror and one without. So now all I had to do was just mask out the person holding the mirror and as you can see, the mirror looks like it's floating. So when I was done with that, so the first step is to fix anything in the background that I remove or add anything I want to add. After that is always frequency separation. I do this in almost all my images, although I, it's always mild in some and heavy in the other, depending on the kind of image. Then after the advanced frequency separation is dodge and burn. That is to add dimension to the image because most times frequency separation will flatten the image. After that is to whiten my eyes and teeth if there is need for it. Then skin toning. In this image, I didn't really do skin toning because it wasn't necessary. I didn't, I just color graded it overall. I'll show you with you guys another image that I did skin toning so you really see what I'm talking about. So after my skin toning is um to start adding some effect to help me get the result that I have in mind. So yeah, I added a vignette boost the contrast and when i'm done with adding the little tweaks and effects i match the file into i match all the dig so far into a layer and then open it in camera raw again now my target for this is to make the final adjustments it's just something that helps me a lot because you will know how much better you could make an image if you don't like open it in camera raw and tweak it again so after that i open it in camera raw and tweak change the temperature and stuff and get the image to the finished product so this is what the image looks like after camera raw tweaking you can see i added vignette boost the highlight and stuff like that and made some adjustment to the brand i wanted the picture to be really warm really warm so and those were the final adjustments after that is my sharpening and my watermarking and we have this picture we get it from here to here so that's my basic workflow and as you can see here down in my actions i have all these stages in the workflow i have actions for all of them which makes it much faster for me when i'm editing so i know if it is a studio i'll blur the background i'll do frequency separation after frequency separation is dodge and burn then eye and teeth whitening then skin toning then color grading overall then sharpening and then i export the images so this helps me not to forget any stage because there are times you are you have so many things on your mind that you just forget to do this or that but when you have a defined 
workflow you know that after this is this and because of that you really get to miss any important stage in your workflow most times i don't know whether it's only me you might edit a picture and i didn't remember oh i didn't dodge and burn this picture but when you have a workflow a defined workflow that would not happen let me share with you guys another image okay this one is similar to the other one same almost the same workflow let me show you with you guys my workflow in this image because this one i i did um some skin toning and other things that i didn't do in the image so first of all was to import the after the camera i imported it here and as you can see the hand they had to clean up the background which was basically just removing the hand that was holding this tree then the next thing i did was frequency separation just look at her you can see frequency separation dodge and burn let me toggle it off and on again so that you can see that's the dodge and burn as you can see there then the next thing i did was to whiten the eyes i just noticed that in this part of the world where i'm from people always have like brown eyes or something like that some coloration so to whiten it will make it look better to me so after that was skin toning just watch her skin you can see it looks way better now after i did the skin toning i shared a video recently on one tip that will help you improve your color grading so you need to go and watch that video to know how i selectively color graded only your skin without affecting the background i'll leave a link to it in the description after the skin toning is the color grading of the background that's i color grade my skin separate from the background so that anything i'm doing on the background will not affect the skin so this is the background color grade as you can see it has changed everything the whole picture is now looking different so after that okay i did some i took the flowers brightness sorry vibrance a little and i made the picture and did some um, mild um tweaking in camera row, as you can see here yeah so that is now it i sharpened it a little contrast boosting and then i watermark it and that's the final image so that's how we moved from here to here so that's what my workflow is like i have actions for each step of the way that will help me to achieve the results that i always achieve consistently so that's the advantage of having a workflow you never get to miss an important stage in your editing imagine after editing a picture color grading and everything remember i didn't dodge and burn i now have to go back and do it again that would be re um, really frustrating and it would take up double the time so having a defined workflow will help you work faster and help you have consistent looking images in your portfolio so now for the last part creating a workflow of your own mostly comes with practice you know working editing pictures for a while after you've edited pictures for a couple of years or a couple of months you get to discover that there are certain things that you keep doing over again one after the other so you just know those things mentally and either you create actions or you arrange your workspace or anything in a way that you know that immediately after i'm done with this one i have to do this other one so mine is true actions if at all i forgot to do something when i'm going to click the next action i remember oh i'm supposed to pass through this stage first so you can use the actions or you can write it down and put it on your wall that way whenever you're editing you're also looking at your wall you can also improve your workflow and look for faster and smarter ways to edit your pictures because remember the faster you can edit a picture and deliver the more jobs you can take in and deliver the more money you can make so that's basically it for this video i hope you learned a thing or two and if you have any question leave it down there in the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and see you guys in the next one